my stylist, my very personal stylist, Tanya Evans, darling, from <laughs> Style Strategist, Inc., stylist, image consultant extraordinaire. Yes. 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 And so I told you that I was going, I'm aiming to give you 30 days of content. And so you guys, you know, well, I could be in the stores all 30 days, but that wouldn't be healthy for me. And so what I'm trying to do we is... Be healthy. <laughs> wouldn't be healthy for the budget. Um, but what I want to do is bring you guys some other content and introduce you to my inner circle, my friends, the people, my homies, the people that I reach out to for mentorship and guidance and style advice. And so the thing with Tanya is that she's an educator of educators, an educator of style. And I say that I'm a stylist and personal shopper, but Tanya is like a stylist stylist. Mm -hmm. And so she did a series um, sorry, I'm trying not to flash you guys, but it is what it is. Um, she did a series earlier this year on yeah. style personalities, and I learned so much. And so I said, you know what? Since I'm doing 30 days of content, I'm going to bring her on and have her talk to you guys about the different style personalities. Because what am I? Am I glamorous? Is that what it is? No, she's Bold. like, she's a little bit of touch of drama, for sure. <laughs> well, yes, 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 yes. That's me. That's More me, than that's a touch. Me. Yes, More than that's, a touch. Me, that's, me, that's me. That's me. That's me. That's yeah. me. Um, we'll so start I just, with those. We'll start yeah. with those. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to hand it over to Tanya, and I'll ask I'll ask questions as I believe that you guys would because you guys ask me so many style questions and I can answer them. The thing about me being a stylist though is I just want to I just want to make mini me's like I just want to create mini me's. Not to say that I don't take people's style into consideration, but I feel like every woman just needs to be in a faux fur and like a black dress. <laughs> And it's the dramatic. Yeah, I mean, a big collar, like, you know. Okay. And so, a cape every a cape, now and Yes, day. every yes. woman needs a cape. I don't say, yes. why wouldn't you wear a cape? Yes. Um, but I think that Tanya's better suited to really talk to you about what your style personality is. So, tell us about our style personality. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to start with the dramatics because Dion truly embodies that. And when I say your style personality, we all kind of have... You know, I think fashion would like us to believe that there's like these million style types, right? But that's not really true. There's mm -hmm. really like five to six, depending upon the educator you talk to, that we all kind of fall into. Now, you're not going to all fit in one, into one box. So, for example, Dion here is absolutely a dramatic in general, but she probably has a little bit, maybe a sprinkle of boho, yeah. a little touch of some of the other ones. Yeah. But with the dramatics, what they love is the drama of clothing. It's, it's very much, you know, when they walk into a room, they want all eyes on them. They want the room to stop. Yeah. Like they put a lot of energy and effort and they bring, and their, their personalities match that, right? So you rarely meet somebody who's dramatic, who's dramatic and like, very Closer. introverted. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, they bring a lot of personality and energy. Yeah. So it matches them very well. And that's mm -hmm. with most of the style personality. Now I'm going to take you on the other opposite end of the spectrum. Who wants to hear that? Just talk about the I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, you see what I mean? But, um, but and, oh, and the, the most important thing, too, about style personalities is it's really about what you value. Mm. So with the dramatics, it's almost like you're putting together a fashion statement. So yeah. you want to be recognized. Yeah, for like you spend statement. time. I spend you time think. putting my looks together yes. and thinking and creating. Right. And so when I walk and into the room. And cultivating and curating. Yes. Okay. Like I have yeah. stuff that I, you know, bought two or three years ago that hasn't, that hasn't seen the light of day because I'm waiting for that exact moment. Yeah. That is so true. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what I had to bring her on, guys. She yeah. preaching the preaching the real word. <laughs> it's so true. Okay, yeah. Okay. And then on the other end, we have the well, not on the other end, but kind of yeah. in the middle, we have the traditionals. When you think about a traditional dresser, I want you to think about like highly conservative. Let's say um, like a Hillary Clinton. Mm. So they're they're fully polished. Mm -hmm. You know that they invest a lot in their clothing, yeah. but it's very basic. So they're going to be your blues, your grays, your blacks, your creams, um, never a lot of color. Mm. Everything's kind of muted. Mm. Um, and they really value just the traditional, the classic, the... Um, they don't like to spend a lot of time. They mm. want style to be easy for them. Like a capsule. Yes, like yeah. a capsule. Or like you talk like, about, almost like a uniform. A yeah, because you like, talked about Hillary, and she was all about like her pants. Suit. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. She, she, you know, you grab the jacket, you grab, grab the pants, you grab a glass, you're done. Okay. You know, even their jewelry is very classic. So they might have a pearl and maybe an oversized pearl, but you know, just a pearl, very simple. Yeah. Um, and that's what they value, just like the simplicity, clean lines. 
Um, they do value high quality, so mm. normally their suits will be, you know, with the finer fabrics. That's yeah. really important to them. Yeah. But those are your traditionals. Okay. 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 Um, uh, can, yeah. The question: mm -hmm. Can you like? Do you change over time? Can you change over time? Absolutely, and I think it changes, and I think moms are a perfect example of mm -hmm. that. We ha have to kind of shift a little more when we have kids. Yeah. I used to spend, now my kids are older, I'm back in really high heels. Yeah. But I remember when I had little kids and I was trying to hobble around with like, you know, two and a three year old. Yeah. It was, I looked ridiculous. I grieve that. Yeah. I, I grieve. Yeah. I, was, I was looking in my closet, looking at all my high heels, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, but you cannot chase around yeah. eighteen month old Riley. Yeah. And I know you're gonna fall, you're not gonna yeah. be able to catch her. Yeah. So yeah, you kind of you can flow in and out. And the other thing is I really believe that we're all on this journey of like constant transformation and reinvention. Yeah. So yeah, you might be in a really conservative envi environment and kind of mold, move a little bit over to the traditional, yeah. and then you, you know, might get into another role where you're like, oh, I can be a little bit more free and express myself a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and then as you age too, you might just feel the need to do that. Yeah. You know, your look in your 20s is not going to be the same. At 40 or 50, it's going to change some. Yeah. Um, and some people think it's um, it gets more conservative. I've seen, gosh, people in their 20s like super conservative, and then yeah. they get more free because of their confidence they break out. at 40. They're like, I'm yeah. here. Yeah. You know? so, oh yeah, my gosh, absolutely. me at 40. Oh! February first and seven, y'all. <laughs> so it absolutely changes for sure, for sure. Yeah, and I love to embrace. I think we should all embrace that. Yeah, yeah. Um, another person I'd love to think is a quintessential example of this is Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga mm. is your creative. Yeah, that's another style personality. Yeah, and with her. She really, her look is an art piece. Mm. So it's more than just the look for the look's sake. When yeah. you think about her looks most of the time, yeah. each element meant something yeah. for that moment. Yeah. Um, another person is, is is it Big Boy or, or the one from um, Outcast? Outcast. Andre. Is, Andre. Yeah. Andre is another perfect example yeah. of that. You know, he curates himself like very, but you can tell there was a lot of thought. There's a story it. behind There's each a story. piece. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're very much collectors. Yeah. Um, and they value art. I love you say value. collectors and not hoarders. Yes. I think I let my husband know. I am not a hoarder. I am a collector, darling. I'm a collector. A collector. How dare you mess with my art form. I'm a collector. You are, you are. Yes, yeah, so I have to. I have to tell your husband that that is true. Yes, please. Um, yes, yeah, so they're they're collectors. Yeah. Um, with the create with the creatives, their challenges sometimes, unless you can kind of edit yourself, mm -hmm. you can be so over the top that it's distracting. Mm -hmm. So when you meet somebody that's a creative in mm -hmm. business, sometimes yeah. it's hard because you're so busy. Like, what 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 is all of that? Yeah. That's their only downfall. But for them, it's more important for them to. Yeah. You know, express that in there. In oh, we got to do another video on that in business, what it all means in business. Okay, so we have the creative, we have the traditional, traditional. okay, mm -hmm. What's the um, classic elegance. Okay, and those that's are you. Your... That's you. I'm a little classic. Check out her Instagram. It's I am Tanya Rochelle, yes. right? Yeah. That's her. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I'll let, but my look example. how she's sitting versus look how my, I'm sitting. She's cross legged. <laughs> she's elegant. My, my yeah, example, you. my quintessential example of her that is um, Michelle Obama. Mm. And I don't think I'm that. Um, she borders traditional, yeah. and I don't think I border traditional. I, yeah. I step a little bit in dramatic, a little bit, yeah, yeah. Um, but she's that quintessential example. So when you look at the difference between a traditional and like a classic elegant like Obama, Mrs. Obama, yeah. she wears things that are like colorful mm. and a little bit more fluid. It's mm -hmm. not as structured and yeah. you know flows a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there, that's like kind of the look we all want to in business. That's like your your primo mm. elegance that you want to stick to. If you dress like that at work, it's yeah. like perfect. You're yeah. not too much. You're not too conservative. You're not too uh, distracting. You're like right there in the middle. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we have the classic traditional. Yep. Classic elegant. Classic, uh, classic yeah, elegant. So it's really traditional. Traditional. Classic elegant. Okay. Creative. Okay. Dramatics. Okay. Um, and the next group I call is the, the, the comfies. Okay, mm. and those are the like the Whoopi Goldbergs. Like, yeah, but then her shoe game is, is crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, the shoe game know, is when she's creative, yeah, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. And you know who else is a comf uh, is a comfy is um Ellen from the Ellen yes. Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they they value comfort, so you will never see somebody. In, you know, like the dramatics and the elegance a little bit. We'll do. We will put our foot in a shoe and yeah. be hurting us for a whole day. Yeah, and just be like, but this shoe looks. So I got to wear it. I got to wear my Louboutins. Uh, they hurt like hell. But a comfy's yeah. not gonna do. Yeah. They're just, oh. for them, being comfortable makes them feel more 
um, more confident, mm -hmm. and so they're not going to make themselves overly uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, you will rarely see them in anything too fitted. Mm. They don't wear a whole lot of um, bright colors. Mm. You know, they're kind of muted in their tone, yeah. but lots of pants. Mm. Um, sometimes they wear things that are a little bit too oversized, and their challenge is you don't want them to, you don't want to venture over into the, like, like I look like a hobo, because like, <laughs> they, they tend to layer yeah. a lot, yeah, and yeah. really sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to the layering, yeah. so that's their challenge. So those are really the, your top your top, top, top five. five. Okay, so then how do you navigate? We do, and I was going to make this a separate video, but I think we can kind of talk about it. Yeah. How do you navigate the working world when you're creative or you're at, what did you call it? When you, when you say Ellen, I immediately, immediately think of like athleisure. Yes. Yep. And so, yep. like, how do you navigate the workplace with all these style mm -hmm. types? But I can, I can see all five of these people potentially having issues in the workplace. Because yeah. if you're Hillary Clinton and you're she she had issues in the election because they thought she was too manly. They're yeah. just like show us a, show us some calf woman, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. then we saw Michelle Obama with her shape, you know, wearing these beautiful flowy things. But that ebony cover was it ebony or es essence? The ebony was, cover. Yeah, I think it was the essence yeah. cover. Yeah. yeah, and she, you know, yeah. so how do you how do you maintain yourself in the workplace with your style personality? Well, I think one of the things you have to do in the very beginning is when you're going for a role, you have to think about, is the company a good cultural fit for you? Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> whenever I'm speaking with an organization, because sometimes I get to go into companies and talk about these things, I can always tell immediately who I'm going to speak to as soon as I walk off the floor. Mm -hmm. So when you think about a building, yeah. you can always tell where IT lives. Yeah. Where attorneys are, yeah. the C suite, the marketing people. Because you said Ernest doesn't PR. look like an IT person. No, he doesn't. <laughs> My husband doesn't look like IT because he's married to me. Yes. But and before he was married to me, he, he looked, looked like, like IT. IT. Right. Like, oh, yeah. 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 We got and, to change and that. The thing about our IT folks, but you know, your your khakis and your golf shirts every day. That's so cool. It's that white tee. Yeah. That white men, if you got yeah. men at home, the white tee, it needs to be a v-neck when yeah. you're wearing a, a like a, yeah. a top. Yeah. Like, that was the first thing I cut out of his wardrobe. I was like, don't buy any more of those. Yeah. 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 Sorry. So TMI. I think it's, it's about, you know, making sure that you're going to be a good cultural fit. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, you're not going to throw away a great opportunity for looks, right? Yeah. So for, if I'm a super creative and I'm in a, and I'm in a very conservative environment, mm -hmm. what I would do is go for accessories. Mm. So I'm going for maybe a little bit more makeup. Yeah, I'm wearing oversized accessories. Yeah, um, you know, bangles. My shoot, my shoes are gonna be like bananas yeah. because you can add those little punches that won't be overly distracting. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, and um, the same thing with the comfort. You know, folks that want to be super comfortable. Again, comfort at work can seem a little like yeah. not it, lack ambition. Yeah, and you don't want to lazy. Yeah, you don't, lazy. Yeah, you don't want to convey that at work. Yeah, but you can find comfortable slacks you can find comfortable shoes yeah. but make them current maybe add a little bit of color still mm -hmm. comfortable yeah. and maybe like twin sets that's not me but like maybe like twin sets so you're yeah. still comfortable mm -hmm. but you're adding a little bit of color a little bit more structure yeah to it um but i think you always have to bring yourself to the table because you're going to be not as confident if you're not you yeah. know and i think that's never you don't want to err on that side of yeah. just becoming someone else yeah. because you're not going to bring your best your a game to the table yeah i agree because yeah. even working in working in higher ed coming from fashion everybody thought i dressed up they was like why are you so dressed up i'm like this is this is dressed up just, yeah you know because i would come into work with like full cape full glam yeah. different wig different shoes and yeah. my students of course loved it yeah. but everybody else was like why are you so dressed yeah. up i'm like yeah. i can't aim it down yeah. darling. and just think you you were te you're teaching them about Style and, and fashion, fashion yeah. and visual merchandise. And I need to like, come through. That's a perfect mix. Yeah. You wouldn't be a good fit probably like sitting in some CEO. You wouldn't be uncomfortable. No. You'd be too much for the room. Yeah. So it's all about Ooh, kind of... Ooh, I'd be too much know, for the room, darling. Too much for the yes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you have, to, you, know, you have to know where you fit in. Yeah. That, that wouldn't be a good fit. Yeah. So with me, I'm lucky. You know, I... I my, in my career before going into business, I was in marketing. So that's a role where I still get to play with fashion. And yeah. um, when I go in to speak, they're expecting me to come with a little yeah, bit of fashion. Yeah. So I get that to play that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Play that up. How long, had, how long did it take you to develop your style personality? Oh, and like, how do own. you, yeah. Because you're not, I, okay, I don't want to say you, because I think you are born I think, I think God gives you the spirit that you need to roam this earth. Yeah. And so, 
part of it is yes like I feel like I've always kind of been dramatic but then like I used to do ballet and dance and all those type of things and so I was always in the you on know the the, stage. yeah I was yeah. on the stage in the big um, poofy dresses and stuff and yeah. so that was kind of cultivated yeah but you know as I get older it changes so how how do you work on developing your personality if you're watching this and you're like you feel like you're one or the other. How can you cultivate that? Do you read magazines? Do you get a yeah, stylist? Yeah, I, I think that, um, you know, it's always, I know everybody can't afford a stylist, but if you can, I think that's the best way to start because they can they can cut through the clutter for you very quickly. Yeah. And I give you an example. A lot of my clients will come to me and be like, oh no, I'm a classic. And I'm like, oh, I'm a classic, okay. So we look at magazines and I can tell they've thought through it. So I have some sheets that kind of give you, like these are my classics and see what they gravitate toward. Yeah what they gravitate toward on those papers and what's in that closet it's two totally is different totally things. totally different things. Yeah. And I tell them, and that's okay. Yeah. Because your aspiration yeah. could be to be classic or your aspiration may be to be more creative. Yeah. So let's start where you are mm -hmm. and then help you cultivate that. Yeah. So I would tell you if you're not going to go that route is think of the those uh, folks of stylists that you admire. So yeah. for me, I love Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh, me too. I love oh, yeah. Iman. Yeah. Ooh. I love Victoria Beckham. Like, yeah. Those to me shut it down. You and, know, I and, think Victoria Beckham is you. Uh, like, that's your style. That's right? she's totally. I'm always she's sending when I'm at Neiman Marcus oh, yeah. last call. You know when I talk about my yeah. friends and I'm shopping for my friends. <laughs> like here it is. Like I'll literally be at last call, like taking pictures. Yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, hey, girl, hey, girl. Girl. Yeah, where yeah. is it? Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. 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 She was my and um and now Carrie Washington. I'm like, yeah. I'm like her. So it can be more than one so whenever there's a magazine cover with any of them I get it yeah and I don't necessarily translate it exactly but I'm like ooh, I like this I want to try this so I recently I have this black tutu yeah a black tutu I, I, I and black tutu. I'm dramatic. I have a black tutu that I'm aware with like a little t-shirt. I can't. I just, I, but I got that from Sarah Jessica Parker because yeah, I yeah. saw her going to this really formal event. Yeah. So that's where I would start. Like think about who your style icons are. It, it could be somebody in your life. It could be somebody on TV. I advise it to be like somebody who's a celebrity because yeah. you're going to have more access to their photos. Yeah. But it could be like a, a cool Instagram person that you yeah. follow. Yeah. But just kind of take little snapshots and then when you're shopping, look in your closet first. I always tell yeah. people that first. But look in your closet and see if there's anything in there that you can like oh I have some pants like that so yeah. I just need a, a blouse to jazz that up or I have the exact same thing but I should maybe change the color of it yeah. to really elevate it to where I want it to be yeah. so that's where I would start okay because that's why that's why I love thrifting because you can play with clothing yeah. on a budget yeah like that's that's Absolutely. really like my draw to it because you can play with any trend and, and, and style personality and if it doesn't work you just we donate it, but you know you get a two dollar top or a four dollar right. dress or whatever. Yep. And because Victoria, like Victoria Beckham, we're both obsessed. Like yeah. her style is so it's amazing. It's so clean, but it's yeah. so like when you when you see it, you're yeah. like, dang. Yeah, and when she walks in the room, she just she just she shuts, shuts, shuts it down. down. She just shuts like, it down. Oh, yeah. BB, come on. Yeah, she just, so, yeah. She, she leaves no problem in the no. room. Yeah, she shuts it down. Yeah. So yeah, so this is the eighteen. Now let me tell you, this video could go on and on and on because oh, we, we talk for a long. time time with just as friends so yeah. I'm gonna end it here but I think we're gonna do another couple of videos yeah yeah for sure. on style yeah all right yeah. so that's See it now I'm telling you I told you 30 days so we could do another 30 videos easily easily, easily. all easily. right love you we never pay yeah. retail oh how can I get in contact with you oh yes um, yeah. my website is tanyaseversevans.com I'll leave it right down there. yeah and um, you can find me on Instagram. That's probably the best way is yeah. I am Tanya Rochelle. Okay. I'll leave that down here as well. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're going to go and chat and have chai tea. Yes, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye.